the ignoring of men who are victims of sexual abuse, partner abuse, domestic violence, sexual assault. The end goal for my documentary is to make people realize that we need to protect our children regardless of their gender. Everything that we do for girls, we need to do the same thing for boys and let them know that they're being protected, that they have support. And by doing so, we're empowering them and help victims who are still afraid to talk and they can know that they're not alone. Because the Good Men Project focuses on reaching out to men and what you're promoting, which is a healthy relationship with oneself, regardless of your gender, is very crucial to something like Forced into Silence, the documentary. All these bad things that usually are identified with happening to women can and do happen to men. It's crucial in starting the conversation that we need to have in order to start protecting our young boys the same way that we protect our young girls. Although criminology is a, a great field to help people, it was just very limiting. I wanted to help more people, so I went into journalism, and I started writing a series of articles entitled Femicide, giving a voice to women who have been murdered just because of their gender. During my investigations on the femicide issue, I typed in a phrase, sexual assault in conflict. And I came across this one article about this man, and he was still ashamed. He was gang raped, and he just wanted to tell the story. His message was, they are also doing it to the men. The men they're not recruiting into their army, or the men who refuse to go into their army, or the men who are just incapable because of a physical disability, they rape them. And it was just shocking because it was just one article. The readers of the Goodman Project help spread the word because that's what's most important. Start the conversation that needs to be started. We can help these men and we can let them know that they're not alone and they don't have to be alone. They don't have to just deal with it. They can be men. Where I come from, doesn't matter what you're going through, how hard your time is, you just keep it to yourself. You know, you don't talk about it. You learn how to deal with it by yourself. As an adult, I figured that's not really a productive way to deal with problems, especially.